Welcome everyone. Do you want to go to the metaverse? Do you want to see the sandbox? My name is Imphan Akpan, Professor Accounting. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to take you into the sandbox. Initially in this video, I aim to talk about Snoop Dogg's neighbor uh, in the virtual world, the metaverse world, the sandbox, who purchased land next to Snoop Dogg for $450,000. That was the aim of this talk. But today I decided to go to the sandbox because the alpha, sandbox alpha is available. Anyone can sign up and go in, but you can't just play. You can't just go in and play. But let's take a look at the sandbox. When we want to get into the sandbox, you can go to the sandbox website. You create a avatar like I did. And once you create the avatar, it's going to let you go into what they call the alpha hub. That's what's available right now. So if you look in this, in, in this map, so now we're in a map. On the left side, you see my avatar waving. You see the map. These are the areas. Most of them are locked. So Villa Deluxe is locked. The NFT Institute. I haven't completed an alpha quest, so you have to play the game in order to get access to it. Way to Zyla is locked. Tropical Park, that'll be open on the 13th, which is tomorrow. Uh, the sanctuary is locked. So a lot of these areas are locked and they'll open up as we move forward in time. Path to Aldrock is locked. Now the Christmas Eve Miracle, that looks like it's open. The other areas are locked. Now the Alpha Hub is open, but you need to play a game and be able to complete the Alpha Quest in order to uh, take part in this. Now, if I click on it, we can go to the Alpha Hub, uh, which looks like this, I can click to play. However, I need to have an alpha pass in order to play. But let's go and take a look at the alpha hub. So it's gonna open it up. I've already downloaded and installed uh, the alpha uh, in the sandbox. So here we are. We've just teleported to the alpha hub. We're in the sandbox. As you can see, there's an Atari space. Uh, right behind me is Snoop Doggy Dog space. If you got a chance to see Snoop Dogg, next to him is the Walking Dead uh, space. But I can't do anything. Why can't I do anything? Well, I don't have an alpha pass. I can purchase an alpha pass, which will allow me to play in the alpha hub in the sandbox. So let's look at the price of the alpha pass. And the alpha pass is 1.314 ETH or 5,377 dollars US in order to get this alpha pass and in order to play in the sandbox. This is amazing because I asked my students, remember I'm a professor, Big question I have is the money. So to get in there and to be able to, to play in the sandbox, you need to have this alpha pass to play the game, just to play the game. And you can purchase one for uh, $5,377.68. The other thing I wanted to note, if you look at this, there are 3,400 people who've already bought the Alpha Pass, who've already bought it. Uh, and there's 5,000 of these passes that are available in total that'll allow you to come in and play in the sandbox. And that's what the Alpha Pass looks like. So again, take a look at this. 
in order to, it, it allows you to play in the, the sandbox and earn, and you have to have this in your wallet to be able to play the game and to be able to uh, earn and to have access to different areas in the game. And remember the alpha version of the game is only compatible with Microsoft Windows at this time. And when you go on OpenSea, you can see the transactions, who's bought it, who's selling it. So I think this is very interesting. Again, I was going to talk about today, uh, Snoop Dogg's neighbor buying land next to his, his space in the sandbox. But I thought it'd be more interesting to talk about the Alpha Pass and that it is open and available so you can check these things out for yourself. Uh, of course, as a disclaimer, I have not bought an Alpha Pass. Um, so I'll continue to move forward with things being a lot cheaper and free for my taste. Thank you for watching. Make sure you click subscribe. I want to hear some of these comments. We've been getting some great comments. What do you think about? It? Is the Alpha Pass worth it? Is it worth it to, to hang out with Soup Dog and, and Atari and, the, and uh, the Walking Dead and to have these experiences? Love to hear what you think. Thank you.